this is a work by Alejandro Santiago, and uh, we've talked about Alejandro Santiago in the past. Uh, this is a very early work, a piece from 1991. Uh, very, very, very beautiful piece. Um, the materials are all natural materials. This is all amate, uh, and amate in a very kind of crude form here. Uh, the colour pigment is all cottonyl. So what we're looking at here is just um, cottonyl and amate. Uh, the way that he's done these kind of beautiful skulls and decorations here, uh, I'm not quite sure how he achieved it. Uh, I think it was telling me one time that uh, lime juice will turn amate um, pink, uh, but uh, lemon juice will bleach it out because these almost look like some kind of batik. It's, uh, almost like he's gone in with some kind of bleach or, as I said, lemon juice uh, to pick out these, you know, wonderful, wonderful skulls and patterns around the place, uh, around, around the piece. Um, the work breaks down into three elements, really. We have the top third, the middle and the bottom. And the top, obviously, is kind of some idea of a, uh, of a deity, a god, if you will. Uh, the all-seeing eyes, his hand. Uh, this kind of head that becomes, uh, you know, very uh, omniscient. In the middle, a very obvious birthing figure. Um, so we talk about heaven, earth, and then here we have the uh, image of the of the skull, which is obviously the underworld, death, etc. So it was kind of has a very kind of uh, common mythological quality to it, but with, with Alejandro. It's just like almost like a personalized myth, um, so so beautifully dreamlike, and each thing kind of metamorphosizing into another. Um, really, really kind of exquisite, exquisite work.